Welcome everyone to what I suppose is the first episode in a series I've been wanting to do on this channel called Bricklink Buying with Brickitect. In these two packages here, we have pieces to customize this set, which of course is LEGO set 10293. This is Santa's Visit. This is 2021's Winter Village Collection set. And this is a good set, but there was something about this that almost kept me from buying it. And this is probably just me, but I didn't like the color of this. I don't like the light blue that runs throughout this. So I decided that I would reskin this a different color. And initially, I was going to go with a brown because after looking at the interior of this, and this is what really sold me on this set, this really feels like our first house that we owned, which was a log cabin, and I wanted to recreate that. Unfortunately, some of these pieces, specifically these ones right here, they don't come in brown, so I had to rethink what I was going to do. And what I ultimately came up with was to reskin this in dark green. So all of this that you see that's light blue will be dark green, and all of this blue that you see here, the darker blue, that's gonna be black. I just thought that would give this a really great look and kind of make it my own. So inside these two bags here are the pieces to do that, and I thought I'd open those up with you in this episode. Of course, this series isn't groundbreaking by any means, but I do a lot of Lego hauls on this channel, which are well-received, and I never really share the stuff I buy from BrickLink, so I thought, hey, that'd be kind of fun to make a series on this. So I had to buy this from two different stores, and apparently these are all of my dark green pieces that I have here. Make sure I cleared the bag. And I had to make a couple substitutions in here, and I think it was these. I couldn't get any two by six in the dark green of these plates, so I ended up having to kind of double my order, and I got two by threes, which was way more economical to do that. So a lot of those pieces, I think they're like over the windows back here. I saw those in the back, so. We'll substitute those out. So it's not gonna be an exact replica of the set, just in a different color. There's a couple of little substitutions that I had to make. Plus I'm also gonna customize this, uh, getting rid of, oh goodness, probably way more critical of this set than I should be, but I can't unsee the Wolverine claws here. So I bought some extra little accessories inspired by the Elf, or the Elf Clubhouse. That is what is in this next little package here, which is so adorable. Like they put the tiny little label on here too and i'm going to try to cut into this without damaging anything in here because this has some string pieces in here and that would be really devastating to cut through those so uh, we don't want our first episode to end in disaster although that would probably be a great way to kick it off with some type of drama but we're going to try to keep this one drama free maybe in the future we'll get a little crazy but inside here we've got and i don't know if this design choice is going to work or not for what i did here are my pieces in here? Did they include my string? Yeah, they did. So the Elf Clubhouse has a string of lights that goes up around the roof of it. It goes right up here like this, and they're in white with these colors. I ended up getting black because I wanted to kind of complement the black that I'm doing throughout. And this right here is the string, as you can see in there. And then I've got all of the colors that are featured on the Elf Clubhouse as well. So I think that's going to look really cool. And I think it'll be a great substitution for those Wolverine claws that you see back there. In addition to that, oh, we got a card in here too. Um, I've got my invoice there. Uh, but there is Utica Bricks. I guess we'll start shouting companies out here. That was from Utica Bricks or Utica Bricks. And this other one is from Brick Sutton. I just found the places that had the best prices. It was kind of like one of the things where they... They're like, okay, these two stores have it, and then I just ordered it that way. Also have some of the black pieces that I need to go around the corners of the house. I guess we'll kind of show it to you here. So you see those little corner pieces that are right there, curved pieces. I didn't have those in my collection, so that's kind of that. I did have most of the black plates that will need to go around here, so that was okay. But I didn't think that if I made this a dark green. I didn't think that blue would look good on there. So everything that you see that's blue is going to be dark green and everything that's darker than that is going to be black. And I'm hoping that it turns out really nicely. I also got some, I think it was modified green pieces on here too. There's, there are four of those and that is for right behind here because there's a blue piece behind here. So I had to substitute that down into a smaller piece that'll work behind there. Even though you can't really see it, I'm going to keep that but the Wolverine claws, they gotta go, and the color is gonna change up. So I think this is gonna be really awesome. Again, this set is so cool looking. Like it's got all kinds of character and I love the family in there. I might also substitute the family out to look more like us. I mean, we're kind of close here. I don't have a mustache, but you know, we could work that guy out. I could switch this to a Clark man head with the jammies and then uh, make that into Mrs. Brickitect. And this could be like our first home together only in 
dark green instead of brown but you know i think it's going to be pretty neat and i'm excited to build this set doing this right before christmas so this is going to be like our grand finale for our christmas builds i thought it'd be nice if i got everything all laid out here so you could see what i got especially for all the piece nerds so i'll just do a little flyover so you can see all the pieces that it takes and those were the pieces that stopped me from making this in brown someone will probably be like greg i found them and i'll be like oh shoot but i think the green's going to be really good and it's going to look amazing so that's pretty much everything that i got and i'm excited to reskin this and turn it into a dark green set i think it's going to look fantastic you'll have to come back for the grand reveal on that i'm going to be working on this today and that should be out sometime soon if you're watching this in real time if you're watching this later Maybe I can have the video pop up somewhere on the screen right now. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in to the first episode of this series. I think this is going to be fun going forward. I know it's not super entertaining, but it's what I'm doing and sharing my journey. And this is very much a part of that. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next BrickLink Buying with Brickitect.